again welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back and thank you for your support god bless you but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell it is down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video you will always enjoy every content that i upload i can promise you this so dear friends our this video is going to be very very interesting very fun to watch you are going to laugh because <laughs> you all know how are my videos <laughs> yes you will learn a lot of things guys so our today's video is going to be about or i am going to be answering a question that comes into your mind when you are on online dating apps searching for love searching for a white man for marriage any man of any color <laughs> We all know that when you're on online dating apps, exist men from all over the world. And this important question comes into your mind every time that you chat with a guy from a particular country, a man from his country, good. How is it like to date a man from his country? Is it? <laughs> I think yes. So I'm going to be answering that question. And today I have three countries, <laughs> which is Greece, Spain and Canada. Are they good if you come across them on online dating apps? How is it like to date men from these countries? Very interesting, I know. <laughs> so friends, if you are on online dating apps searching for love, searching for a white man for marriage, you're interested in interracial dating, you're interested in black men, men from different countries, <laughs> watch this video because it will teach you a lot guys and once you know how is it like to date men from different countries it really helps you a lot to know how to behave around them to know what to expect when you date them what you are going to deal with or what you're about to go into <laughs> also when you're chatting with a guy online and then you vibe he comes to know that you know a lot of things about him <laughs> or about his country he will find you very very interesting he will find you very very serious because you going ahead to know how a man from his country or how things are done in his country will show him that you are interested also you will avoid surprise moment like last time i was chatting with a girl and she was telling me she was chatting with a guy from britain a british guy and this guy was laying himself <laughs> while talking to her <laughs> so she asked me are all white men like that do they play themselves <laughs> is it normal i told her no girl but the research that i did last time when i talked about when i talked about to british guys they like playing themselves so i told the girl it's normal because the guy is from britain british guys likes <laughs> playing themselves <laughs> So you will avoid surprise moments and when a guy does something, you know, oh, Bella talked about this. So it's normal. Nothing is strange. <laughs> so that is going to be our today's video. And without wasting much of your time, I've talked enough already. Let's dip into this. So country number one is Spain, Spanish men, Spaniards, they call them, who are Italian brothers. <laughs> How is it like to date a Spanish guy? Are they good? If you come across them on online dating apps, should you date them? I'm going to give you answers for that. So point number one about Spanish men or Spaniards, you are going to ask yourself a question which is very, very important, <laughs> especially if you're interested in interracial marriages. Is it normal to see interracial couples in Spain are they accepted is there racism when it comes to interracial couples like a Spanish guy with a black girl or a Spanish guy with a girl who is not a Spanish girl or how do people take that in Spain so my research tells me that it is very normal to see an interracial couple in Spain. So interracial couples in Spain, it is very normal, especially if it is in big cities like Barcelona, Valencia, Seville, Madrid. It is going to be very, very normal. No one is going to give you strange looks. Though in small cities, expect strange looks. 
because those small cities you don't see a lot of tourists so there is no much immigrant or tourist that goes to those small cities so when they see a black woman with a Spanish guy of course you're going to get looks another thing that I got when I was doing a research about racism about interracial couples in Spain is that there are some people who are ignorant just like i said in italy you will find them very racist when they see a black lady and a white man so this too applies to spain some ignorant people when they see a black woman and a spanish guy they're going to give strange looks they're going to act very weird you know in a racist way <laughs> especially those people who enjoy this sport it's like a sport of seeing animals being tortured bullfighters so if you're chatting with a guy online and he is Spanish, he is a Spaniard, <laughs> he tells you that he enjoys animals being tortured. Girl, open your eyes and be on, you know, that alert mode. Because <laughs> I'm told, especially those people tend to be racist yes but in general guys if you are in big cities you won't get strange looks also in those big cities they are more visited by tourists so it is going to be very very normal to add on that i've talked of outside people how about a family of a guy are they going to receive you with open arms or they are going to treat you you are black <laughs> no it is not going to happen guys because i'm told the research that i've done that family to a spanish guy is very very important comes first so when this spanish guy loves you and then takes you to introduce you to his family then the family is going to receive you with open arms because they can't say anything they can't let their brothers down <laughs> <laughs> they can't disappoint him because family is very important to a spanish guy he will always count on his family so because family is united they're not going to do anything to tear them apart like showing hatred to you even if they don't like you they are going to keep it for themselves yes that is how it's like if you are going to date a guy from spain when it comes to interracial marriage or interracial dating interracial couples the whole thing number two that you need to know about spanish guys is that first of all they are very cute tall with thick hair bronzed skin <laughs> when i say bronzed skin like it's it's a bit dark they are white but it's a bit darker most of spanish guys <laughs> and they have that you know strong tone <laughs> which is good <laughs> some ladies likes that <laughs> but not only that guys they are so active in bed <laughs> so if you're looking for a guy who is very very active and you're on online dating apps i think you should chat with spanish guys because they are really really sexually active <laughs> number three about spanish men just like i said they are italian brothers <laughs> so spanish men too are mama's boys <laughs> mama little boy yes and they care so much about their mothers a guy of 30 years can be still living with their parents a mother is cooking for him mother is preparing everything for him ironing <laughs> especially if he is still single yes <laughs> so there is so much similarity when it comes to italian men if an italian man is single not married yet it is very very normal to find him still living with parents <laughs> and most of the times if this guy is not working or does not have a stable job he is not going to be living alone he's going to be staying with parents until he stabilizes he gets a job that is you know sure then he will move to live alone but that bond between him and the mother will always be there so spanish men are mama's boys just like italian men 
Number four, Spanish men are very, very romantic. So if you're on online dating apps, searching for, you know, those romantic guys that will tell you sweet words, compliments when they date you, <laughs> take you out for dinner, buy you flowers, chocolates, then chat with a Spanish guy because <laughs> Spanish men are very romantic. <laughs> Number five about Spanish men, expect language barrier. If you are on online dating apps, then you come across a Spanish guy. They are not all that good in English. They speak Spanish. <laughs> so you should start learning Spanish when you start chatting with a Spanish guy and everything is going well. <laughs> Number five about Spanish men, they are so fun to be around. They like to live life. They're so lively. <laughs> yes, and they are very outgoing. Very easy to be around cause they don't stress over a small thing which is very very good guys i really like that even me i don't like to stress over small things or things that i don't have control of i don't tend to stress over them so with a spanish guy it's like that they don't tend to stress over a small thing they are so easy to be around very lively Number seven, Spanish men are very hot tempered. I told you, just like their Italian brothers. <laughs> yes, <laughs> very, very hot tempered. But something I like about hot tempered people, it tends to go away very fast. They don't keep things at heart. Never. So Spanish men are like that. Very sentimental. <laughs> Number eight, they are family people, just like I said when I started the video. So when he likes you, he will introduce you to his family because family is very important to him. And you will have family dinners a lot. It can be even three times a week. You are booked for a family dinner because to a Spanish guy, family is very, very important. Number eight about Spanish men. Is it eight or nine? I'm confused. <laughs> about Spanish men is that they don't go with time. Not at all. Of course, if you are planning for a vacation, they are going to book <laughs> for that vacation, but they don't tend to have that fixed thing of time. Like example, men from Germany, they are so strict when it comes to time. All men from Switzerland, they care so much about time. We should do this in time. We should be there in time, yes. So when it comes to a Spanish guy, they don't have that, no. <laughs> they just think of something and then do it without fixing so much, you know, time. <laughs> but this is also the same with Italian men, especially South Italian men. They don't go so much with time. You can eat any time that you want to eat. There is no fixed time that when it is at seven, you must eat dinner. No. <laughs> In South Italy, that does not exist. They don't go with time. So with Spanish men, they are just, you know, free soul. <laughs> no fixed time of doing things. <laughs> <laughs> like to see where life takes them. <laughs> Number 10 about Spanish men, they are very loyal to their wives, they listen to them and they will do anything to make their wives happy. Yes. So if you're on online dating apps and you're chatting with a Spanish guy, girl, when you get married, he's going to be very loyal to you. He is going to treat you well. He's going to make sure that you are happy. But 11 about Spanish men, as much as they are so passionate, they are so good in bed, <laughs> they are shy to approach a woman. <laughs> yes, but if you are on online dating apps, then be rest assured that he is going to approach you because it is not, you know, physically. <laughs> yes, but normally a Spanish guy won't approach you in the streets and start talking to you or giving you compliments. No, they are shy. And <laughs> if you are living in Spain, you are not on online dating apps, you have to make a first move. To a Spanish guy, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. So, you should know this that Spanish men 
are very shy but once you start talking and example you make the first move and then start chatting or start talking you will like him because he starts opening up because he has gained trust in you <laughs> but 12 about spanish men this is very very good guys i told you in africa most men don't know how to cook but with spanish men i'm told that they are very skilled when it comes to kitchen matters <laughs> yes most spanish men knows how to cook which is good for you because <laughs> some ladies don't like to cook even if they are africans still they don't like to cook i have a friend who doesn't like to cook at all but she's lucky she got a guy who knows how to cook so <laughs> the guy cooks and she does other things so with spanish men they know how to cook majority of them even if they are mama's boy but with this i say it's so so good <laughs> thanks to spanish mothers <laughs> another thing guys about spanish men or spaniards <laughs> that i think it's very very important you know actually i got a question recently there was a lady who was in trouble in a difficulty <laughs> an african lady <laughs> guys that's why i've told you you really need to do the research about these men so guys this lady was chatting with a guy a white guy from europe and this guy told her that he is not circumcised <laughs> so this girl was really shocked and she was like i can't deal with this <laughs> Bella, I feel like the guy is genuine, the guy is good, but there is only one problem. He's not circumcised. <laughs> so when I read her comment, I really laughed a lot because <laughs> I could imagine her shock. <laughs> so guys, when it comes to Spanish men, <laughs> so Spanish guys, a very big percentage of Spanish men is not circumcised yes that's the truth actually only six percent of male in spain are circumcised which are the jews and the muslim but the rest not circumcised so <laughs> when you're chatting with a spanish guy online <laughs> be prepared he might not be circumcised it is very very normal <laughs> it shouldn't shock you <laughs> country number two we are moving to north america <laughs> canada men from canada canadian men how are they how is it like to date a man from canada are they good men if you come across them on online dating apps let's get to know this <laughs> number one i'll start with interracial marriages are they normal in canada is it normal to see an interracial couple are people going to give you strange looks is there racism is it an abomination <laughs> to see an interracial couple in canada the answer is yes it's very very normal it's not an abomination and again like i said when i was talking about spanish men or interracial couples in spain if you are living in big cities like toronto montreal ottawa you are not going to get a lot of strange looks because those cities have got a very high percentage of immigrants so it's normal to see black people it's normal to see people from other races which means that interracial couples are going to be seen as a normal thing but if you go to small cities small towns of course you are going to expect strange looks from the locals <laughs> number two about men from canada this is good news to you ladies who are on online dating apps and you're interested in canadian men yes because my research tells me that canadian men prefers online dating more than the normal dating so to you who are on online dating apps you have got higher chances of finding a canadian guy so online dating is very very common 
in Canada, most Canadian singles, men, prefers online dating, prefers meeting ladies online. And this tells you that interracial marriages are normal because if they're on online dating apps, they're going to meet with ladies from all over the world. Yes. So this is good news, guys. Number three about Canadian men, they are very polite and kind. Very I like this guys when I hear about kind polite I really like it because I don't like men who are rude so if you're looking for a guy who is very polite very kind that will treat you like a queen then go for Canadian men <laughs> yeah. but remember guys everything has got its positive side and its negative side <laughs> yes because some people say that Italian men are rude. <laughs> they can be rude sometimes because they are hot tempered. When he is, you know, like very angry, he really gets angry. <laughs> Kindness does not exist. But with a Canadian guy, be rest assured that you are going to be treated well with too much kindness. Number four that you need to know about Canadian men if you come across them on online dating apps is that they don't rush to commit. No, <laughs> they don't get committed very easily. They take time to know you very well. So if you're chatting with a Canadian guy or if when a Canadian guy approaches you, then you start chatting, don't expect that he is going to propose on your first meeting <laughs> or don't expect that things are going to go very, very fast. He will take his time to know you very well. You will start being friends. Then the status will change <laughs> to more, more serious. Yes, yeah, so you gotta be very, very patient when you are chatting with a Canadian guy. Number four about Canadian men, if you come across them on online dating apps, and this is like a tip, guys. If you're on online dating apps, you come across a Canadian guy and you're a black woman, example, we all know in Canada exist a lot of black women, black people. So you have to ask this guy, why you? <laughs> why a black woman? <laughs> His reasons to why you because guys some people will chat with a black woman because maybe they have got their own ideas in their mind that black women are desperate or with a black woman i'll do anything that i want to do she won't tell me anything or with a black woman i know they are so ambitious in life so i'll chat with her bring her here and then you know use her and then she takes care of everything or i'll use her just you know to have someone to split the bills with so you should know why you why a black woman when you're chatting with a canadian guy on online dating apps and this is not only about a canadian guy any guy on a dating app get to know why you why a black woman ask him that and listen to the response you listen to his response because through that response will tell you if that guy is really serious interested in you or he is just you know there to play games or he wants to use you like i said don't accept to be used number five about dating a canadian guy like i said guys they are so slow to make things official but once it's official there won't be games it's you they are going to be loyal to you but before that before things are official he might date you and even date other ladies <laughs> yes it is something that you should expect but once it's official you are his girlfriend you are his wife no more games which is good guys <laughs> number six about canadian men this is a bit similar to australian men especially the young ones they really like to hang out with their friends so you will have to share your canadian man with his friends <laughs> yes because his friends matters a lot 
Number seven about Canadian men, they are very simple, very relaxed people. They like to chill, no much stress. <laughs> <laughs> and when it comes to fashion they are not that so fashionable they they dress very very simple so if you are a lady and you are a simple lady you don't like you know too much exaggeration when it comes to fashion with a Canadian guy you will go very very well because they dress simply they like simple life relaxing <laughs> <laughs> not so much exaggerated like Italians because Italian men are so fashionable they care so much before they go out they look themselves in a mirror of how they look and how you look if you are the girlfriend or the wife <laughs> you should look good too look fashionable you know <laughs> before you go out but with Canadian men they are very simple Number eight about Canadian men, you should know they are shy. <laughs> yes, so if you see a Canadian man on online dating apps, his profile, you know, attracts you, you can make the first move. <laughs> right to him, who knows, he might reply and boom, you vibe. Yeah, because Canadian men are very shy. Normally, in a daily life, it's so hard for a Canadian guy to approach a woman and tell her I want to take you out or give her compliments. No, Canadian men are very shy, so you should know this. Country number three is Greece. Greek men. <laughs> How are Greek men? How is it like to date a Greek man? If you find them on online dating apps, are they good men? Are they bad men? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> let's know fact number one about dating a guy from Greece or Greek men <laughs> and I'm going to start with interracial marriages just like I did with my previous countries is it normal to see an interracial couple in Greece are Greek guys interested in marrying a black lady or ladies from other races <laughs> how are they when it comes to mixing the answer is not really interracial marriages are not very very common in greece and this is due to the religion this is due to the culture tradition so when it comes to religion the research that i have done tells me that most greek guys would prefer to marry a greek lady that is from the same religion which is orthodox christian and when it comes to culture traditions i'm told are very very patriotic <laughs> so that patriotic thing pushes them to be more interested in marrying greek ladies but again i'm not saying that interracial marriages don't exist they exist in greece but not so common like other countries example in america or the uk that has got a very very high number of interracial couples or interracial marriages number two about greek men or men from greece <laughs> they are not shy at all to approach a woman they are very free to express their feelings towards a lady <laughs> i talked of spanish guys being shy i talked of canadian men being shy but when it comes to greek men they are not shy which is very very good to women who are not ready to approach men who are not ready to make that first move so with a greek guy be rest assured he is going to approach you he will give you lots of compliments he will tell you his feelings towards you he won't hide them number three about greek men or men from greece family comes first too <laughs> yes family is very very important and when you start dating whether you have met on online dating apps whether it is in real life the family must accept you so you will have to go through a family test <laughs> to be accepted if his family does not accept you then girl 
that relationship will not work but if the family accepts you if the mother accepts you then you will be treated like a family member that's how it is in Greece <laughs> Number four about men from Greece or Greek men. If you come across them on online dating apps, you should know that they are hot tempered. Yes, hot blood. <laughs> Just like men from Spain, men from Italy. <laughs> So be ready for those moments whereby he will be angry, very loud, talking to himself. Even if it is something that he did and he is angry at himself, he is going to be talking so loudly. <laughs> yes, so Greek men are hot tempered too. Expect that girl. Number five about men from Greece, they are very passionate but at the same time very jealousy <laughs> i don't know similarity with italians and i told you guys i think when i talked about italian men men who tend to be very very passionate very very romantic they also tend to be very jealousy because when they love you they truly love you with all their heart <laughs> yes so they tend to be jealousy when they see something like you want to betray them then oh my god they go crazy so greek men are jealousy number five about greek men men from greece expect to do everything in the house i talked to spanish guys knowing how to cook when you date a greek guy and everything goes well you go to a point of getting married be prepared my dear ladies that you're going to do everything in the house yes you are going to be a caregiver of this greek guy according to my research tells me that number seven that you need to know about men from greece or greek guys is that they don't take cold answers I know on online dating apps, I know we ladies <laughs> are very different <laughs> according to how we were raised. So you might find some ladies are very rude, that is how they are. <laughs> but I am telling you, if you're going to be chatting with a Greek guy, that rudeness, he will not take it. They don't take cold answers, they don't like ladies who are rude he's not going to tolerate that <laughs> so that might even end your relationship be very careful <laughs> number seven about greek men you will never be able to manipulate a greek guy this message goes to ladies who are used to ask men money online <laughs> with a greek guy girl he will know immediately that your intention is not to find love <laughs> eight about greek men or men from greece this is about greece as a country guys when you are invited to a greek party this is as the same as italy again <laughs> they tend to eat guys they like food and their food is very delicious so they always prepare more food than is needed <laughs> yes <laughs> that is the greek way and when i was doing the research i also read about this concerning greek guy that when a greek guy calls his mother to tell her that i'm coming with my friends if it is 10 friends then this mother is going to prepare food for 20 people <laughs> they like their food they cook delicious food it is food 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 and they like partying too a small party is a grand party <laughs> to greek people so they really really live their life to the best so with a greek guy you will always enjoy life you always have fun eat good food <laughs> yeah number nine about men from greece or greek men a father is the hero to the children to his kids he is the hero he will always be the hero for the rest of their lives which is very very good and when it comes to the mother the mother is the saint 
<laughs> and guys this is similar to Africa especially in Tanzania sometimes people swear using their mother's names I cannot do this I swear to you in my mother's name <laughs> Yes, because the mother is the saint. So these two to Greek men, their mother is the saint, the father is the hero. Number 13 about Greek men, this is good. <laughs> Just like Spanish men, they don't make a small thing a big deal. Example, you have been invited to a function let's say it's a wedding or it's a birthday function and then you arrive a bit late they're not going to make a big deal out of it as long as you have arrived that's important <laughs> number 14 which is the last one guys i have a lot of facts about dating these men but if i talk i'll talk till tomorrow i won't finish the video is too long already <laughs> so i'm going to end here with this about greek men if you come across a greek guy on online dating apps or even in real life you should expect this most greek men are spoiled <laughs> <laughs> by their mothers, their parents, and the research I did, it's because during those days of the war, most kids lost their lives due to hunger, kids suffered a lot, so due to that, Greek parents are very, very protective. So you might find a Greek guy that is very, very spoiled. <laughs> really spoiled yes so be prepared i've told you girls so dear friends we have come to an end of our video thank you so much for watching thank you for your support your time god bless you if you've liked this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are super good comment below what you think about this video i love you so much much guys you're always here in my heart let us meet in my next video ciao ciao